Okay, so here are kind of like my YouTube goals for the year. So this was my one from last year that I used. Um, so I kind of just went over my categories of YouTube ideas. So clean with me videos, what's for dinner, individual recipes, cook with me, organize with me, meal prep, prep my fridge for easy access meals, plan with me, how to reach goals, set a goal, how to get there, did you reach the goal, what helped, what stood in your way, budget, makeup videos, vlogs, DIY stuff, travel vlogs, mom, lifestyle vlogs. So just kind of overall ideas I like for my channel. I like lifestyle channels for the most part. I don't necessarily just go to YouTuber just for their niche. Um, I do like that, but the channels that stick for me are like the pers like just the lifestyle ones, like the personality ones, like just kind of hanging out with that person, seeing what's going on. Um, I will kind of dabble in and out of ones that have just one specific niche, and then I find after so long I just don't really watch them anymore. Because um, I'm not always looking for something with just that niche for an extended period of time. Um, so then I kind of have the categories. So clean with me. Um, I have what do you like most about the clean with me videos you watch. Favorite clean with me channels. Um, I love Beauty and the Beastins, love Meg, Kaylin Cash, Cook, Clean, and Repeat, Jessica O'Donohue, Brianna K, Liza, Adele, and there's more. I just couldn't think of them. What do yours currently look like and what will help you incorporate more different elements into your videos? Like kind of are the ones I like to watch just to always try to progress and get better. And then just video ideas for right here. So I did kind of write stuff here from last year. Um, so video ideas, clean the fridge with me, organize the pantry with me, decorate. Um, undecorate with me. So then I have like my what's for dinner and just the same kind of things. My favorite YouTubers for this are Jessica O'Donohue, Cook, Clean and Repeat, Beauty and the Beastins, and there's a few more I just can't think of. And then just some overall video ideas for that. And then we have the lifestyle vlogs, mom vlogs, content. Um, so my favorite lifestyle YouTubers actually switch the categories they're ordering. Um, I like Brianna K, Tiffany Beaston, Aaron Williams, Aaron Williams. Um, Abby Fields, I think that's her name. Angelique Cooper, Taja for Juiced, I love her, she's my absolute favorite, and Angelique Cooper, they're my top two here. Um, Tara Henderson, she's a new one I'm watching, Liza Adele, Kaylin Cash, Love Meg, Sarah's Day, and Nikki Blackutter, she's an OG, she's my favorite YouTuber for forever. And then just the same kind of categories. And then video ideas, and then my makeup beauty ones, so my favorite YouTubers here are I Love Seta E, Roxette Ariza, Ariza? Kathleen Lights and Jordan Lipscomb. There's a ton more that I watch, but those are like my favorites that when they post, I get really excited. Um, makeup skills I wanna work on. This one I did a little bit different um, just to get me more confident in doing it. And just some other goals here, like editing, videography, photography. So I wanna practice editing um, to the beat of music. That's something I wanna do. I eventually wanna get a drone and for like travel videos, make those really cinematic and fun to watch. Um, so then put the music in there first and edit the video footage to that. And then I want to learn photography this year. I want to learn camera settings. I want to be like basically a pro by the end of the year. I know it takes a long time, but I really would like to do that. And then just that one blank. And then thumbnails. I want to look at like thumbnails that I like, make mine better. Not be like a copycat, but just get inspired and make ideas and practice that way. Like look at other thumbnails, try to make mine like that. Because sometimes I'll be on Canva, which I just use for my thumbnails, and I kind of... I don't know, run out of ideas and I don't want to pay for Canva yet. Maybe once my YouTube starts making money, I will start paying for like the music subscriptions and then the Canva to make better thumbnails or eventually just get Photoshop. Um, but yeah, just get some ideas for that. So this is just really like my YouTube one and it's just the same thing here. So I'm going to take some of this, I think, and incorporate it into my bigger planner. That way I'm not just solely working off two planners. I do like this for an overall guideline. So I have my guideline like my outline, my rough draft, whatever, and I wanna put it in to plan with my bigger planner to actually take actions, take the steps, mark it off. Okay, what am I gonna do this week, etc. So I think with this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my YouTube goals for this, and then I'll kinda of write, okay, I have my overall goals. These were kind of like my YouTube goals. So these were kind of like my YouTube goals for the year, so I'm gonna keep that in mind for like the big perspective of things and kind of maybe keep that on every single one and then somewhere I'm going to maybe on like these monthly goals or here or here or somewhere kind of go over okay so where am I going to what steps am I going to take to get me to the end of the year goal because um, time goes by fast and I don't want it to end up being November of next year and I'm just like gonna cram watch a bunch of YouTube figure it out
Okay, so I think I decided I kind of want to split them in half. Like, I might do some year goals here, like camera photography, um, editing, maybe like drone, because I want to get a drone. And maybe these can be like year goals, like save, how much closer are you to like Hawaii. Um, I want to get, dang it, what is it called? Uh, a Glowforge eventually. Maybe do like a side business with that. Maybe eventually turn it into a business. Um, different things like that. Maybe kind of this is overall like long-term life goals, YouTube goals. And like one of these could be fitness, etc. Okay, and these are just the pens I use. I believe I got them on Amazon. I like them. They do bleed through a little bit. I have a plain standard black one because you always need those. First one I'm gonna do is, I don't have great handwriting by any means. Wish I did. Drone. And they do bleed through a little bit, which is a con. Really just the darker shades for the most point. So keep that in mind if you're gonna write here with certain pens, it is gonna bleed through. This is a little bit thicker paper than most planners, which I do really like. So here we'll do. Not sure what I'm gonna do for this last one. Maybe like home improvements or something. So yeah, I think this is just gonna be like an overview of the year goals. And then over here, I really want to maintain two videos a week and not just two videos a week, but uploads on specific days, specific times. Um, I've noticed those kind of, that kind of engagement does really well overall with channels and people kind of know they can come back and expect you and know you'll be uploading a video at that time. So that really helps channels grow. I wish I had spectacular handwriting. So something I know I want to put down here is I want to get a goal for my year is flashes. I want to get better at doing fake lashes and okay so this one's gonna be my fitness section I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of show my progress throughout the year for my wedding maybe do like monthly update videos or something like that I only have two more, three more to fill in. I think I'm gonna leave those blank for right now, just so in case something later on in the year comes up, I can go ahead and do that. I am gonna go ahead and fix my YouTube schedule though. And I'm gonna figure out what days work best for me. I know the weekends can usually be busy, so I know I can usually get one up on the weekend. I feel like Sunday is a good day to upload a video, and then one day during the week. So maybe like Sunday and Wednesday, get a video uploaded or maybe Sunday and Thursday. So I need to develop days that I edit. Okay, and for my glow forge, just research at first. I wanna research um, softwares that you need to learn. I know it comes with an app, but I think there's other things like when it comes to the resizing and just some of the terminology, I don't know it. Um, research products. I want to kind of become familiar with channels and Etsy accounts that make this just to kind of see, you know, how it works. I'm going to want to learn, learn my way around a camera. I want to work on little icon pop-ups, Um, fonts, I would like to have some better ones of those. And then videography, I want to work on drone shots. Um, outside. Tr give me a reason to travel more. 
even if it's just nearby. Okay, so for right now, I think this is pretty good for this section. A good start. I'm not gonna do anything here yet. I don't know what I wanna do here. And so here we have like January. So, and you can't see that because it's super bright. January 26th, so five days left in January. So we kind of bit the bullet on that one by getting this one late. I don't, I'm not gonna do birthdays here. I'm probably gonna make this like YouTube. It's all gonna be YouTube probably. So a YouTube schedule. Okay, so this is actually gonna be perfect. So this is gonna be kind of like a test all, something I can test just test okay so for my monthly goals for January for YouTube is going to be my up where did I looking at? okay so I want to upload two times a week I want to throw a little bit of Keep in mind of these goals. These goals you need to incorporate into your monthly plan or you're not gonna reach them by the end of the year. Now, of course, you could cram it all, but these are the baby steps that are gonna get you to that end goal. Think of who you wanna be, your best self. You're not being a fraud, you're not being a copycat, you're not being someone you're not. You get to choose what you wanna be. Like, these are values you're kind of instilling in yourself. Um, like your goal setting, just things I wanna be. If you wanna be a happier person, if you wanna be less negative, if you wanna be whatever, more fit, if you wanna read more, if you wanna go to school, take classes, just all of these little baby steps, they're gonna get you there. Just you, everything in your life is up to you. Every decision, every, you can do whatever you want. You just, as long as it's not illegal and it's safe, you can do whatever you want. You just have to take the steps to get there. Um, if that's surrounding yourself with like-minded people, a lot of the things have to do with who you surround yourself with. Um, you're not going, it's gonna be a lot harder for you like to become a skier if you're not around people who ski, like if you have like, no, you're just kind of kind of be doing it on your own. So maybe find some groups or Facebook groups or just like join a club or take some classes or something around something you like and meet new people, etc. cetera. Um, so I want to learn my way around a camera. Uh, editing skills. So I'm gonna put my editing skills into this month because since I'm focusing on really getting this down, I wanna kind of dabble into some of the editing skills Since this is my practice one, I want to use the ugliest color sticker that I have at camp for this. I just decided to use this one for right there. I think next month I'm going to use one that comes in this planner. I think next month I'll use one of these. Okay, so this one's going to be overall kind of like YouTube goals. This one's going to be videos I want to post. This one's going to be ha my goals for the year, steps I'm taking this month to get towards that. And then... I think this is gonna be like a fitness one, health and fitness one. Yeah, and then this might just be like an inspirational catch-all notes throughout the month, things I wanna incorporate next month, or this can be like the recap of, okay, these are your goals. What are you gonna to do to help you reach these goals? What do you foresee staying in your way? Um, what stood in your way? Why didn't you reach it? Like maybe a recap. So I'm gonna use just, I really don't enjoy the color yellow too much, so I'm just gonna use that right there but this will be just, in the future, it'll be just videos I wanna do. And then it'll go into like videos I wanna upload somewhere, post this one, edit this one, et cetera, to the specifics. Um, but since I only have a couple days left, this one I'm gonna do, upload. It's not perfect, okay. Condren video. Okay, and then maybe here I can also kind of estimate like what days are gonna work best. So I definitely want to, maybe I'll edit and post this one tonight. Edit and post Monday. I feel like this is gonna be a really easy video to edit and post. Um, so it should be really quick. Okay, so I want to incorporate researching the Glowforge. So I want to find, I want to research some YouTuber Glowforge people that do it a lot, not just an initial unboxing review, but like that is their thing. There's a lot of YouTubers that are about their Etsy accounts and sticker shops with their crickets. I think I will also watch maybe some photography basic videos. 
do. So when you're writing this down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep in mind every single month how many months are left. So is this a good stepping stone to get me closer? There's only so many months in the year. If I am taking just research this YouTuber, research that YouTuber throughout the whole thing, eventually I need to start getting to applying. So practice, next month I think I'm gonna do practice with the settings, really looking at having my camera out. Um, I think I'm gonna have photography basic videos, but also have my camera out. Okay, so far for the fitness, I have a goal. I think I'll do kind of overall fitness goals for the month, um, nutrition goals for the month, baby steps to get to, like if you were battling soda, cut down my soda. Quitting cold turkey is really hard to do. It kind of sets yourself up for failure. So maybe cut down to only two sodas a day, only one soda a week, or like however you kind of do it. Um, like kind of cut out this food that I have all the time or incorporate just one scoop of broccoli at lunch every day for this month, just baby steps. So exercise, I just want to do mobility. So my overall goal is I want to work out three times a week. Overall clean up diet, but clean up meals is kind of a better start. It's a little bit more specific, a little bit less generic. I feel like if I put clean up diet, it would kind of just make me think, oh, okay, here and there, maybe don't go out to eat as much. So I have my month right now. So I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna incorporate, okay, so I have these. So what do I need to do each week to kind of get to these steps? So I'm gonna start with YouTube. So I upload twice a week with what videos? Film, Aaron. Andrin, I want to edit it and upload overnight. Yeah, okay, so I think this is gonna be my film, edit, upload. I think this row can be my um, inspo for it. Like say I really wanna incorporate this, like I wanna do, okay, here's the game plan for the video that I wanna film, like my overall monthly goals over here. So today, my to-dos are I'm just pulling some stickers from this page and I'm going to put them on Valentine's Day. Sometimes I'll let the stickers carry over into the next day. I think it's kind of cute. I also want to do this sticker here. Monday nights is The Bachelor, so I might incorporate that on here because I love the stinking Bachelor. It's so good. So somewhere I have the TV icons, so I might do that. And February is gonna be like pink and purple. So for Mondays, Monday night, yes, The Bachelor is that important. It needs to go in my monthly planner. Okay, so I have the grocery shopping, which I will do. We do that on Sundays. So, and then for paydays, I'm gonna use my money sign and put it just up there in the icon. Okay, I kind of pay my bills in groups. I don't necessarily pay them all on their day day, due date, I'll pay them on their due date or I will pay them early. And then I was looking at the back and I wanna use this cute little XO. And I wanted to use some of the cute clear ones. So I'm gonna use the lips cause it's February on Valentine's Day, over here. For right now, that is all I'm gonna do to the planner. Um, I have my shopping days, my bachelor days, Valentine's Day, my weekend, and then I'll kind of fill in my notes here later on. Not sure what I wanna do yet. Then I'm gonna set up my week. Okay, and over here, I kind of want to do my intentions for the week. 
for my overall goals. So I want to work on finding Glowforge account recipe. Researching Glowforge people. Monday, I need to get stuff sent over for taxes. All right, and then I'm gonna use this date night there. I did find a sticker I want to put on the front of this. I will be here living my best life. I just think that's so cute. And I'm gonna put it right smack dab on the front because I wanna see this every single time. Wow, I went in hard with that fast. Okay. This is so cute. It's written in gold and then it's got the white behind it. We're just gonna do with that. Okay. So you can barely see it. But it's got the white. There you go, you can see it. I like how like small it is and how you can't really see it. Life planner. <laughs> 